I am Jacques Fiorentino, uh, chef and owner at La Ciette Steak Fleet on Melrose in West Hollywood. And we're here to show you how I prepare the sorrel soup, which is one of our specialty here. Sorrel, they know, is a leafy vegetable. As you can see, it looks like spinach. It tastes nothing like spinach. And it makes for a wonderful, wonderful soup. It also makes for great uh, fish sauces because of the citrusy uh, aspects of it. Now, this soup is gonna be what, what is called a potage. But potage means we use potato as a thickener. Our main ingredients are some celery, red onion, and two herbs. We have um, thyme and margarine. We're gonna saute this in butter. So we put a little bit of butter at the bottom, bottom of the pan. The celery and the onions. And we will lightly saute these, making sure that the onion only gets to a translucent color. Let's add our thyme and margarine. This will give our soup a nice, Herby scent and our onions are just beginning to get a little translucent. One of the ways you, you can gauge when these are ready is simply by smelling. How have the herb incorporated with the other taste? You can begin to see that the onions. If they go too much longer, they will begin to scorch. And we don't want to let it go there. Our vegetables are ready. The color is where we want it to be. The scent is exactly where we want it to be. The reason we add the water first is because the other liquids would scorch. Our next essential ingredient is the chicken flavor. Uh, you would want to use uh, chicken stock, which is readily available in any supermarket. In our case here, we use the chicken base. Uh, it's very important to use a good quality chicken flavoring because it's, a, it's an essential ingredient to the soup. So now we have pretty much everything in, with the exception of the sorrel, which we will add right before the soup boils. Some salt and some white pepper. I like to use white pepper because it does not overwhelm a delicate tasting soup. Uh, and this has a very delicate and distinct flavor. Black pepper would overwhelm it. I like to grind the pepper right before I use it. That's, that's, that's when all of the flavors get released. Now, we add up the main ingredient, the namesake of the soup, our sorrel. all in. It will wilt by itself. Now that we've added the sorrel, we will leave the sorrel in the soup, let it simmer for about 20 minutes to let all of the flavors blend together. But we need to keep an eye on it and stir it from time to time because after all we do have dairy here and we want to make sure it does not burn. Soup is ready. The next step will be to blend it and to thicken it. We use a commercial blender. Of course, 
any kind of blender would work. Now, we have blended it down to a very smooth consistency. All the vegetables and the leaves and the herbs have blended in. You can use boiled potatoes or you can use potato flakes. This will thicken our soup and give it that nice potato velvety taste. Our soup is very well blended. Mm, perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is the consistency we want. Nice, smooth, velvety. This is the color we want. A little touch of creme fraiche. And voila.